so much on the final day of the U.S. Africa Leaders Summit. Tightening security on the continent took primary focus. CCTV's Jim Spellman joins us with that part of the story. Jim. Yeah, Mike, the focus of this summit has clearly been on developing stronger economic ties between the United States and countries in Africa. But the security threat, especially from groups like Boko Haram in Nigeria, are threatening that sort of progress. Nigeria is a key part of the African economy, attracting venture capital from around the world. Nigeria is Africa's uh, largest economy, and uh, it is uh, seen as one of the dynamic uh, economic actors in Africa. Joseph Siegel is director of research at the Africa Center for Strategic Studies, a Washington-based think tank funded by the U.S. Department of Defense. He says Islamist militant group Boko Haram has become a major threat to the Nigerian economy and a potential barrier to stability and growth across the continent. Boko Haram burst onto the global stage earlier this year when the group kidnapped 276 Nigerian schoolgirls. Most are still missing. The group has killed hundreds in raids, mostly in northern Nigeria, and has begun operating in neighboring countries. Boko Haram continues to be a significant and growing threat. Investors are always afraid when they hear about instability. And so stories of the kidnappings or attacks by uh, extremist groups do send uh, shudders through the investment community. To fight Boko Haram and other terror groups like Al-Shabaab in Somalia, the Obama administration has proposed a new counterterrorism partnership fund that would be used in Africa and elsewhere to build anti-terrorism capability, train counterterrorism personnel, and facilitate partnerships among local governments. African security forces and African peacekeepers are in the lead across the continent. As your partner, the United States is proud to support these efforts. Boko Haram takes advantage of frustrations with the Nigerian government over what many view as corruption and poor government services to recruit new members and gain support. Siegel says the solutions involve far more than just counterterrorism measures, that the Nigerian government must address these core issues if it is to defeat Boko Haram. In the end, it's a matter of trust. Some members of the community that trust the, uh, the extremist group more than they trust the government. Just within the last hour or so, U.S. President Barack Obama announced that the U.S. would assist in forming a rapid response team made up of African troops that could go into these terrorism situations quickly and try to stop them before they can grow and expand. They would operate uh, during U.N. or African Union movement, uh, troop movement uh, operations, Mike. Uh, Jim, Ambassador Williams was just on the heat with Fana Naidu, and she said uh, there is no need for the U.S. to expand its uh, military footprint on the continent. But I want to see, is that, does that square with what you're hearing? Any talk at all about deploying troops uh, to Nigeria to help with the security situation? Uh, n none at all here. The last thing that the Obama administration wants to do is have boots on the ground pretty much anywhere in these conflict zones, certainly in places like Nigeria to deal with Boko Haram. That's really why the thrust is on helping with training, and helping with uh, create these forces that can go and take care of these issues there. He, as Barack Obama said earlier today, these African problems need to have African solutions, Mike. Jim Spellman overlooking the Capitol Force. Thanks so much.